Hello everyone, I was tagged in a super exciting new tag video. I love tag videos, they're so much fun to film. I wish they were more popular like they were in the heyday of booktube, but we're bringing them back. And I was tagged in the fantasy romance reader tag by Tori from Tori Between Pages and Rachel from The Raven Haired Reader. So of course, of course I have to do this tag because you know I love fantasy romance. And this tag was originally created by Hannah Blackwell. So let's get started with all the questions. I have a whole playlist of fantasy romance. I do my fantasy romances I want to read series i have like four videos in that maybe i should film another one soon let me know if you want to see one soon and a bunch of fantasy romance reading vlogs you guys know it's one of my favorite genres so i'm super excited to film this tag video today and let's get into the questions question number one what book got you into fantasy romance for the first time so i feel like i could say a court of thorns and roses by Sarah J Mass because this one is I would say it definitely counts as fantasy romance however it didn't really spur me on like this whole journey of like getting into the indie fantasy romance scene I, I really kind of just stayed still this was when this book was considered YA which we all know it's not really YA but like when I read that book I was like wow I really love fantasy books with a large focus on the romance but getting into more like indie new adult adult fantasy romance would definitely be from Blood Nash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read it in late 2021 and after that I was like I need to find 10 million books like this because it was the first time that I really just saw a romance heavy, very romance heavy, smutty fantasy and was like wow I love this. I actually read this on Kindle and then like halfway through I was like I need to buy a physical copy because I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. I still think that this first book is probably the strongest book in the series so far but I still love it. I have reading vlogs. Oh shit, I, I still haven't posted my catching up on JLA reading vlog. Someone remind me to do that soon. I do need to do it soon. I, sorry, I've been procrastinating putting that footage together. But anyways, I did recently film a, a reading vlog of me catching up on the latest three. There's also like a spinoff series now. So this is after I read this book, shortly after is when I did my first fantasy romance as I wanted to read video and from there i've just been a fantasy romance girly ever since number two if you could pick a fantasy world to move to for the rest of your life which would it be i honestly would have to say sorcery of thorns i would move to the magic library and i would live there sentient books magic library like that's all you need to let me know i will live there i this is like a YA fantasy romance, so it's not like fantasy romance and like the smutty fantasy romance genre, but it still counts enough that I, I want to live in this magic library, okay, because it just sounds so cool. But if I had to pick a more like actual fantasy romance, I would totally live with the princes of hell in hell, in this, in Kingdom of the Cursed. I would live there because hot demons. If you could marry one bookish hero or heroine, who would it be? That's such a hard question. Um, um, listen, I'm holding this up. You, th you think it's someone, but no. It's just because he doesn't have his own book yet, but it would totally be Asriel. I am an Asriel girly. I've been an Asriel girly essentially since I read A Court of Miss and Fury. I was like, who is this man? I need to know more about him. I like this silent brooding type. I'm, I'm a big Illyrial stan. I really hope that they end up together. I don't care if you think it's cheesy if the three brothers end up with the three sisters. Whatever. I don't care. I want them together. The bonus chapter of Azrael's POV where we just... That, just like the years of pining that I was describing in my head, I was like, it's real. I'm not just reading into this with the rest of the fandom. It's real. Anyways, I'm an Azrael girly and I need him desperately to have his own book with Elaine. Thank you. We love a shadow daddy. If you could be one fantasy creature or magical being, what would you be? I mean, I think I like would have to be a fae because then I would have cool powers and be immortal. It's such like a broad descriptor, but essentially those are like the two things that make you a fae is you're immortal and you have cool powers. So I'm just gonna say that because that's easy. I want cool powers and it would be kind of cool to be immortal. Like, as long as like I also had like a mortal friend so like not everyone I love dies and I just watch them but yeah it would be cool if you could kill one fantasy romance character who would you off 
Oh, tough question. From Zodiac Academy, I would totally kill Lionel because he's actually the worst. He's actually the worst. I hate him. He sucks. He is a villain that I hate to hate. Like, I just hate him. I hate him, so he's dying. Zodiac Academy, also, if you want, like, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, bonkers craziness, like, this is the series because it literally has everything and it's insane. And I have a whole reading vlog where I read Zodiac Academy, so check it out. What fantasy romance character do you truly believe would be your bestie in real life? Personally, I think I could be friends with Tess from Defy the Night. This is a YA fantasy romance that's kind of like a Robin Hood-esque retelling and Tess works in an apothecary and she steals these moonflower petals that stave off the plague from the rich and give them to the poor with her bestie Wes and then when the unthinkable happens to Wes she basically like just storms into the palace and takes matters into her own hands and it's so good and fun and I love this and I just think me and Tess could be besties. Personally because she's also you know she's like the fantasy version of a scientist I'm a scientist so like I think we could get along that way. What would be your fantasy weapon of choice? Obviously I have to pick a sword because swords are badass like who wouldn't want to wield a really cool sword definitely a sword who is the sexiest fantasy romance character of all time honestly this does change depending on what i've just read what my mood is but recently i've been a zayden rehearsing girly because i just read fourth wing dragon fantasy romance new adult book it's everything it's amazing zayden yes everything about him Yes, I am obsessed with him, and I think he's really sexy. Pick one fantasy romance book to burn. Okay, I do have one. Okay, The Flames of Chaos series by Amelia Hutchins. I would have to burn that. Like, it started off with such potential, and I remember there was this note before the first book, like, you're gonna hate the male main character, but by the end of the series, you're gonna love him and think he's the best. And I'm like, okay, I like a good enemies to lovers. It was the fourth book, and each book is like 900 pages, and I still hated this man. And I was like, what is the point? I can't, I can't wait this long for this to happen. And also, that series just, I really feel like it was not edited, and the storyline just, it just was so winding and made no sense. When, like, what they are doing and the actions, like, nothing made any sense. I don't know what I was reading. Like, sorry, I truly... I tried to make it with that series and it was the third or fourth book and I was like I cannot do this anymore because the spicy scenes were good but like there was just so much back and forth where like he was good then he was bad then he was good then he was bad like he was asking at, acting nice then he was mean then he was acting nice then he was mean and I'm like there's no character development the characters are all over the fucking place like I cannot deal with this so yes I would definitely be burning not just that book that that whole series you can choose one fantasy romance book and it will be the only book that you can ever read again which book are you choosing I don't even have to think about it, according to Miss Fury. This book, the character development, the storyline, everything, it would be this book. Like, I think we all know, I think a lot of us would choose this book because it is that bitch. And I love her. Honestly, sometimes I just like pick it up and pre-read my favorite scenes and I'm like, wow, I just love this book. I mean, it's a court of Miss Fury. If you could recommend one fantasy romance book to a reader that is new to the genre, which book would you recommend? Um, okay. I think I would recommend A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows by Holly Renee to someone that is new to the genre because they are relatively quick to read and really spicy with good fantasy foundation. Um, basically we follow Adara and she is like this starborn human and she's promised to this prince. However, when she arrives to the Fae Kingdom, her and the brother that is like the head of the guard have instant chemistry and it's just really fun quick read super spicy it's not like super um it's not super heavy world building so you just get really into like the spice the romance and the fun and it gets super spicy and i think if you are someone that wants to be like okay i want fantasy but i also want it spicy this one is good because you know you're going to get spice and you know you're just going to get a taste of what the genre is but it's not too long so i would totally recommend this series i just think it's so fun and i love it i actually need to read the third book i haven't read that yet but uh yeah this was addicting it was addicting it was just very fast paced to read and addicting and fun and i loved it 
Alright guys, that is it for the tag. I... Who am I gonna tag? I'm terrible at tagging people and I hate tagging people in these things and I feel like all of my fantasy romance friends have already tagged me. So if you are watching this and you like fantasy romance, I am empowering you to make this video and just say that I tagged you, okay? And I would love to see your fantasy romance tag videos because I need more recommendations, you know? So yes, I just love talking about my love for, for fantasy romance. Keep your eye out for a 48 hour fantasy romance readathon coming this weekend, August 25th to 27th that me and Tori from Tori Between Pages are hosting. I'm so excited. I have some really fun reads lined up and I'm just gonna see how much fantasy romance I can really speed through in the weekend and I absolutely cannot wait. If you have watched this far in the video, please leave a little sword emoji for cooks, you know, I would be a sword girly if I was a fae in a fantasy romance. And just leave your comments down below talking about fantasy romance. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.